So, hi there. Hi. <laughs> Who are you? I'm Tom Vaughn. I'm the Director of Business Development for CyberLink. And you're just uh, announcing a new product, right? We're, That's why I'm here. <laughs> yeah, we're ready to uh, launch PowerDVD 9. And why do we care and, and what's this PowerDVD 9 for? So anyone who enjoys DVDs or Blu-ray discs on a PC occasionally, whether it's at home or on the go, will love what they see here in Power DVD 9. Um, it's by far the best way to enjoy any kind of video on a PC. Yeah, and it, before the camera was on, you were showing me some of the stuff it does. In fact, you can, uh, why don't we start a video and play this. This is actually being augmented by Power DVD 9, right? The, That's the right. Quality. On the left hand side, we see what a DVD looks like normally, and on the right, we've enhanced it with our True Theater HD enhancement technology. So if I play, you'll see that the brightness and the color and the contrast are adjusted. Um, there, the motion is smoothed out. On the left, you'll see this motion judder that happens when you play movies. Even on this, you know, two hundred dollar HD camera that I'm using, a flip cam, you can see a dramatic difference on the even on the little tiny screen between uh, these two. I mean. I, here the clouds are uh, much uh, more detailed and have a better color. The, the grass is sharper and more detailed and has better color. This looks like it's almost like you're looking through it through a dirty lens or something like that. Yeah, once you go True Theater HD, you'll never go back. It's it's exactly it's looking looking at DVDs through a fog um, otherwise. Yeah. So you'll see you that. You don't even realize what it looks like <laughs> until you see it side by side, but it, it sure makes it. A dramatic difference. Yeah, and if we if we turn it off, um, turn off the split screen effect, and uh, just go to True Theater HD everywhere, we have this adjustment here that we can control the the level of lighting effect, or the level of up sampling, or the level of motion uh, interpolation. Wow. And Really, it looks. You're, here we're watching a DVD, but and it this looks is not almost H like a Blu-ray disc. Yeah, this is not a Blu-ray disc or a HD DVD. This is just a standard old DVD, crappy, you know, DVD, <laughs> and it looks like HD on here. I mean, it's uh, stunning. Now, this we should be fair. This is a Dell uh, laptop with uh, a 1080p screen. That's right. right. It's can, a, it's a high quality screen, but still, we're starting with. DVDs, which are encoded at 720 by 480 pixels, yeah. and then we've got many more pixels on our normal PC display. So, if we just try to put 720 by 480 on a normal display, it doesn't really look that great. So, yeah. our True Theater enhancement technology really comes in handy too. Very like, cool. How much does this cost? The Ultra Edition, which can play Blu-ray discs, is 99.95. Okay, and you had a couple other versions. What's the difference between the cheaper versions? So, and do I need the hundred dollar version? You only need the hundred dollar version if you want to play Blu-ray discs. So ah, okay. if you have a Blu-ray drive, or you're going to get a Blu-ray drive. Got it. Um, the uh, sixty-nine ninety-five version uh, Power DVD Deluxe um, has all the True Theater uh, upsampling technology. Yeah. And then there's a standard version for forty-nine ninety-five. Very cool. What kind of PC level do you need to get the, the kind of augmentation of the picture that you're seeing here? Do you need a high-end video card and a high-end screen like you have in this laptop? or Like I have a Dell uh, tablet PC, which today would be sort of, eh. It, it's, you know, it's two years old almost. It's not a really great video card. It's, it, it, it plays Vista just fine with the, new, the Aero glass and stuff like that, but it's not a high-end gaming machine or anything like that. Would it work... Would I see the same kind of results on that machine as you I You should, you um, should. We'll, we'll take advantage of any graphics acceleration that's possible, whether it's on an NVIDIA or ATI or Intel graphics chip. Um, we take advantage of all the Microsoft acceleration uh, capabilities. So actually we're doing most of the true theater enhancement in the CPU. Okay. So you don't need a particular graphics card to take advantage of that. And on this, this is a dual-core Intel uh, Core 2. Um, it amounts to about 10% of the CPU to, to do all that upsampling. So that's not a really big impact. So even on a mid-range system, anything within the past couple of years, you should be able to do the full range of enhancement 
Um, then for the video decoding, after we've enhanced the frames, we send the frames to the graphics card and we take advantage of all the hardware decoding capabilities that would be available in all the different graphics chips. Very cool. Would I see if I used, uh, what's the standard cheap way to play a DVD in your, in your uh, PC? It's probably uh, Windows. Uh... If you have Home Premium, you know, Vista Home Premium or uh, above, it's, it, people use Windows Media Player. Yeah. Is there a battery life difference between using a Power Power DVD nine versus uh, just the standard old player that comes with your PC? Yeah, absolutely. We've optimized Power DVD to let you watch the end of the movie when you're watching on a laptop on a plane. Um, so we do a lot of things to minimize the power usage. Um, so we can minimize the CPU usage. <clears throat> we can minimize access to the optical disk drive or to the hard drive, and um, maximize the use of the graphics chip uh, to do video processing so that in the end you uh, you can watch the end of the movie. We even have technology to uh, let you see the end to speed up the movie within Power DVD. Yeah. So you can play it a little faster or that's right. So so when you fast forward you could go at one point one X or one point two X, but we'll adjust the sound so that uh, the sound sounds normal. Interesting. So you could speed up a little bit if you're losing your battery and and not miss the ending of the movie. Very cool. Or if the plane's about to land, <laughs> you want to get to the exactly. ending faster. <laughs> That's always. In fact, yesterday we were flying home from Seattle, and that happened, and it was like. And you, of course, you can't uh, speed up the the plane's uh, system, but you, if you were. Watching your own You're videos. a few minutes away from the big ending, and they're warning you to close your laptop, and you'd rather see the end, right? Yeah. Um, what else does it do? Yeah, so um, what else does it do? I, I know you uh, told me a little bit about some of the audio stuff that's coming with the high-end audio cards coming later this year for audio uh, fills, because this will play on a Windows Movie um, Windows Media Center. Meter, I'm sorry, Windows yeah. Media Center. So Power DVD System. 9, for the first time, we're integrating both the regular application user interface, the 2-foot user interface, yeah. with the 10-foot user interface. So if you prefer to use Windows Media Center, Power DVD will install into Windows Media Center as a Windows Media Center plug-in. Yeah. And so that brings Blu-ray playback capability with Power DVD Ultra to Windows Media Center. Uh, you have all the capabilities of of Power DVD, and uh, so will I see the same kind of quality difference if if I put a DVD in my media center and watch it on on the standard player, and then I put it into and then I load Power DVD nine, I'll see the same kind of performance. Yeah, I think I think you're going to want to use our player in Power in uh, Windows Media Center versus the, the very cool because I use my media center a lot. So. Yeah. I'm looking. I'm looking forward to this because it sure makes a dramatic difference. Um, yeah, and then as we talked about um, coming soon, it are the. Uh, I don't know why I just turned it off here, but um, okay. coming soon are the full audio capabilities. Yeah. Um, with with some sound cards. So these are. Uh, Sound cards that go way way beyond the CD quality that most sound cards can do. Right, right. until now, uh, because of um, rules around Blu-ray disc, um, the audio would have to be output as CD quality audio, multi-channel, but still uh, 16-bit, uh, 48 kilohertz quality. And with a certain set of new audio cards that are coming from Azentech and uh, Realtek, there'll be the capability to use Power DVD Ultra to play Blu-ray discs in full lossless multi-channel audio quality. So for the home theater enthusiast, uh, we're working with the hardware industry to, to solve that problem. That's going to be, and that's going to come in the third quarter of this year. Your software already can do it. Right. You're those, just waiting for the sound cards to arrive. Those sound cards for full Blu-ray audio quality won't be out until the third quarter. All right, that that tells me that uh, I shouldn't build a me another new media center right now. I'll wait, I'll wait for that new sound card to come. Well, out. you can, but use an old sound card. And <laughs> <laughs> um, what else? Do they, can you give me a sense of the uh, uh, 
UI and the way it, look, it lets you uh, organize your movie collection because that's pretty cool too. Yeah, so we have uh, first of all a, a web service um, that comes in Power DVD and that's called Movie Live, and that lets you share your movie ratings or access movie ratings uh, from other users. Oh, that's cool. And so that's sort of like what Netflix does. So I can I can uh, hook up with other Power DVD users and and see what they are all liking. That's right. Okay. And we've got a slow internet connection here, but anyway, it links into Movie Live. Okay. And uh, then we also have a way for you to look at your movie collection. And so all the movies you've watched, you can add to your movie collection. And through our web service, you can access uh, different metadata um, information about the movies and, and uh, the category, the genre, and so on. Right. And then you can go to a 3D view and browse through your movie collection this way. Yeah. That's pretty nice. And I haven't loaded up enough movies here yet, but... But it, it would impress your friends if you had, a, you know, dozens of, of movies... For sure. Or some of my friends have hundreds of movies. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty crazy <laughs> collectors out there. Um, well, very, co very cool. Um, so, and this is available as of this video coming out March 1st. It's coming and out Sunday, March Sunday. 1st. Cool. And uh, I can order it right off the uh, Cyberlink website. www.cyberlink.com. Yeah. C Y B E R L I N K. Very cool. I'm going to go get it. So this is pretty cool stuff. So thank you very much.